The woman is scrabbling at her throat, as though she can hardly breathe. Shh! Quiet! <laughs> Better if they don't take notice. They'll only make it... <laughs> tighter. I can't... breathe. I can't breathe. Her hands move again to her throat. She seems to try to make space between her neck and the collar, but there's no space to be made. It's getting tighter. If you don't like the game, Topsy, you can fold. No, no. She don't listen to reason. Maybe you'll have. Ah, you're back. Please, did you find Irma? She still hasn't returned. Where could she be, my dear girl? You sound just like that snake, Jeff. You stop it with that sort of talk, you hear me? Such utter nonsense. She ignores you and continues. Don't disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? The Magister goes slightly slack for a brief moment, as though nothing but her spine were keeping her upright. And you're... you're very sure it was him? Don't waste my time, inmate. Don't disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. None of your business, inmate. Find me if you hear of a me go. Otherwise, don't waste my time. Don't disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? And you're... you're very sure it was him. The ring sits heavily in her hand. Her fingertips droop under its weight, and it seems about to fall to the ground when she grasps it tightly and holds it to her breast. He was... he was my father. This can't be. You said he was upon the beach, yes? I need to have a look myself. This... this simply can't be! She stands stock still with her eyes closed for a moment, then turns away without another word. A fresh face. We love fresh faces, don't we? <laughs> oh, yes, we do. Why don't you join us in a round of cards? First hands on the house. No problem, Freshie. In that case, enjoy your stay. But. I'll be needing to collect your interment fee first, of course. I'm sure the Reds told you. No one gets along without paying the interment fee. So, let's make this easy. Empty your pockets. To be sure, Chief. Pay up and you get to keep your eyes. 
Sounds pretty satisfying, don't it? We'll see about that, Freshy.
Two empires, tooth and claw. Humans and lizards fighting since the dawn of time. Again, can't you see I'm rather busy? He lifts the corpse's eyelids, peering underneath. Hmm, it could be worse. Although they could certainly be better. Yes, yes, do feel free to call. By which I mean shout loudly. I do not want you sneaking up on me again. a small whimpering sound from behind a basket. You peer behind it and find a small human child holding her knees and trembling. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. There are monsters here. Lizard ones and real ones. It's really scary. And I miss my ma and pa. How do you know? The child smiles. She starts tracing small shapes, hearts and stars and diamonds into the dirt. Psst. Go. Get out. You are not welcome here. Go, man pig. She eyes you suspiciously. Please. Please, just go. You hear me, human. Leave.
Can you feel it? Can you feel the darkness approaching? Does it cast a long shadow on you as it does me? My heart frosts over as if I'd been violated by nothingness itself. It threatens to consume me. It threatens to consume all. What's happening to these turtles? They're transforming! Swallowed too much sea water by the looks of him. Foolish to attempt an escape by sea in these waters.
You hear me, human? Everything has a heart, except lizards, maybe. Maybe they do. I don't know. The waterfall has a heart made of a giant diamond, see? Again, can't you? He lifts. Mm, it could be well. Yes, yes. Do by which I. Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our Godwoken speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. 
I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask. Stay silent, you! Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness. I believe we're done here. What a waste. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. The Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. She was a lizard, yet a Magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. Reckon they know what they're doing, right? Ugh, this heap of flesh and bone was just another lizard. The world won't mourn her long. Deplorable surrounding for an agreeable co- I intend to rule an empire one day, not a tiny outcropping in the- To that end, I suggest we focus on the obvious. A farewell to four- Did you see him? You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. The Geists, dummy. The Hammer and Alexander had two in tow just a moment ago. Ugh. Thought you lot would be interested in a thing like that. Ah. No reason. Settle in, eh? A magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Could be a while, though. The high priest is up to his hood and sinners these days. Saw him, didn't you? The hammer and Alexander. <coughs> they gave that scaly traitor what for they did. Tis a misfortune, brother. <coughs> You lot can't help your condition, but at least the humans of you ain't celebrating the source plague. Did you see them, sir? Bishop Alexander and the Hammer herself, they, they, they were so close, almost within arm's reach. A traitor cannot be murdered. A traitor can only receive their due. Easy enough to say in times of peace, but look around. We're standing on the edge of the end. The Void Woken are coming, sir. And it's only the Divine Order that can protect us. Ifan rolls his sleeves back down and casually wipes some blood from his cheek. He nods at you, the shadow of a smile on his lips. Good work there. Good work. I can tell you've got chops. Say, you were on the ship here with me, weren't you? He stretches out one rough hand to shake yours. He grips your hand tight as a vice and pauses. 
His fingertips feel your finger bones. His eyes narrow, but a moment later he shrugs and smiles. Say, you don't look all that busy now that we're safely on dry land. I could use someone to watch my back, and it looks like you could use someone to watch yours. I've just got a small errand to run, and then I'll be looking to get the hell out of here while I've still got a neck to collar. How about we stick together until we get out of this place? He shrugs, looking off to the side. Mercenaries. It's a job. My job. Everyone needs to make a living. I make mine running errands. That's the truth. For me, for you, for everyone in this place. Why not help each other get out of here? The usual way. Haphazard, terrifying, and drenched in blood. Haven't quite worked out the details yet, but I'll wager it'll be no worse than what'll happen if we stay put. Two heads are better than one, and when push comes to shove, four fists are better than two, right? He grins, sharp teeth glittering in the midday sun. So, before we hit the road, it's best if we decide battle strategies up front. Should keep more of our blood in. Survival's my main priority. I'll use every trick in the book to keep us alive. But if a wayfarer's not what you're after, I've got other skills. What do you need? Can do. Onwards. He scans the horizon for threats with one green eye, then nods back at you. Looks like you've got quite a busy little crew already. My instincts tell me to travel with a smaller pack. But if you happen to lose one, you know where I am. The sun shines bright upon this island. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? If we have different paths to take, you and I? If Anne curls his lip in greeting, a knowing smile on his face. So, seen all the magnificent sights of Fort Joy already? I've just got a small errand to run here. But then I'll be looking to get the hell out the usual way. Two heads are better than one. And when push... He grins. Sh right you are. dog looks up at you but doesn't lift his graying head from his paws. He heaves a heavy sigh. It's... it's no use anyway. The dog tentatively sniffs the offering, then grabs it between its teeth and swallows it. You're... you're nice. Emmy would have... Emmy would have loved you. She was my mate for the last seven, carry the two, plus fifty, five years. The Magisters, they took her. Nope, haven't smelled her either. She was real bright, you know, had the best sniffer you've ever seen. I guess that's why they wanted her, not me. Say, 
Let me show you something. Oh, hey! Hey! I thought you might be Emmy. Oh, it's... It's nice to see you. Key? What key? Oh, the key! The Magister who took Emmy dropped it when he was walking away. Did someone say Emmy? Oh, Emmy. If you find out where it leads, if you see Emmy, tell her I miss her. so long. I'm ready to take up arms if- but you still too- I'd say we're making good progress already, no? If Ant tips his fingers to his temples- I saw that glint in your eye. I knew we'd make a solid team. Are you certain you want to dismiss your companion? His eyebrows shoot up, and a rock- Can't say I'm not sorry to see you go, but you'll be all right. Good luck out there. Might be we'll see- What took you so long? You're not quite certain you- Ravaged among the ruins, that is all we are in fortune. The sun shines bright. Ravaged among the ruins. Are you certain you want to dismiss? If we have different. Changed your mind about teaming up. He grins, sharp teeth. Right you are.
still on your feet, eh? Glad to hear it. Feel free to take a gander at the stock. Only the finest, you know. Worse than war rations, please. Worse than war rations, please. Got that special shipment you was asking after. Got it. Worse than war rations, these. Ah, oh, you're back. Oh, it's so good to see you, mate. You look. You know who you look like. Sure. We'll source change back. Here's the goods. Like you wanted. Yet so quickly. We Give it down, will you? What in his death caused him? He was good work with other kinds of souls. But why? When a mother divine arises, will so Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did meet so much. Lizards smell like oranges, or is it just that crazy fellow with the pointy tail? The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts and doesn't look up as you approach. Hmm? What? Oh, new, are you? Very good, very good. Make yourself at home. My mind? What else, my friend? I'm wondering why. All of this. Source, the Void Woken, the Divine. Why? Naturally. How could one not? We've used Source for thousands of years. We have used it to heal, to grow. How can it be that it suddenly summons these, these horrors from the Void? And when will Alexander ascend to divinity? We cannot continue like this. When another divine arises, will Source change back? What is the value of Source? Yet so quickly, we find Source so dangerous. What is this? Return to it, work. 
Sorry, do all. He taps hammer to nail and doesn't. Will source change back? What is the line of source? Wouldn't know a thing about you and I. But... Ha! I found you, didn't I? Red, they said. Red, then dead. Not an attempt, mate. Not if I can bloody help it. Time's up, Your Highness. Let's dance. These assassins are. It's their frightful manners I mind the most. Well, that was rather fun, wasn't it? I do find it ever so invigorating to cut a cutthroat's throat. Oh, one gets used to this kind of thing so quickly. This is hardly the first time someone's filled some poor fool's purse and bid him kill the prince. I'll tell you what, though. Whomever wants me out of the picture will have to do a lot better if they seek to get the better of me. All those bumblers they've sent so far mark a mere insult to my swordsmanship. You've read my contract. What does that look in your eye mean? Maybe. He sniffs the wind, gazing out across the dilapidated buildings of Fort Joy, as if looking for something. But maybe it's going to work out. I've got a contract, a man on the inside. 
And now you. Good to know. And likewise, with whatever errands of your own you have. Say, do... The woman looks out on the gently lapping waves. She seems totally at peace, but as you approach, she turns to you with a cheerful smile. Haven't seen you around here before. New? Well, don't worry too much if you have a hard time settling in. Takes a while to get used to the place. You here alone? She gives you a long look. Maybe you ought to give those companions of yours another chance. Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Maybe they mean something to you after all. It's nothing. If I haven't learnt that by now, I haven't learnt anything at all. Used to be I had a family. A husband and a little boy. We were healers. Source was in our blood. Then they brought us here. I couldn't stop them from taking my boys from me when they did. Reckon they were cured. Maybe even released. Don't know why the Reds didn't take me, too. Now I'm just waiting for him to call my name. Waiting and remembering. Thank you kindly, sweetheart. I do appreciate it. They were good lads. Too good for this place. In some ways, I'm glad they got out quickly. Listen to me, bubbling on like a cauldron. You're sweet to listen. And, yes, they were lovely. Totally lovely. I'll see him again before I'm gone for good. That's for certain. You run along now, darling. You shouldn't spend what little time you've got left here listening to an old bleeding heart moan. Here you are. I wonder what keeps you. Tell me your tale. Start from the beginning. Start from where you come. I see, I see. Now tell me more. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you find. I understand. Now tell me how your story ends. I see it in your shoulders, the weight you carry. I hope your wish comes true. Take this rope. It is a gift. It is common, but it helps you lift burdens. It is nothing. Many fragments swell on my shore. See what I gather.
finally kicked the bucket this in. Didn't think I'd miss his grumbling and boasting, but spirit like that leaves a big hole when it's snuffed out. Rest his soul. I'm not opposed to manual labor, if circumstances require. What did they do to him? What did they do to him? Leave me be! Leave! What did they do to him? What did they do to him? Leave me be! Leave! 